guy is pinned there. Mm. Colonel Serene said he got bitten by a reptilian Draco. Well, how does that happen? I don't want to tell you. I don't think he got bitten, you know, like, over the mouth. I think he got bitten telepathically. You see, reptilians are telepathic. Another story I told you was a David Wilcox story. David related the case where there was a reptilian that was captured by the galactic forces. He was killing people by telepathy, and that's what happens is, you know, you, if you get bit by a Draco, I wouldn't put it past us to bite you, but, you know, if we're in a reptilian form, you got sharp teeth. You know, in a human form, these teeth won't bite through much. But, anyway, if you got bit by a Draco telepathically, basically what they do is they invade your head right into your mind, and, you know, they're more powerful, mindful than human minds, and they can just barge right in there. Mm. It's psychological warfare, basically. If Colonel Serene got bit by a Draco telepathically, he probably needs a major... Uh, Psychiatrist. I don't think there's a psychiatrist that can deal with psychic attacks by illegal aliens, Draco reptilians. What are you going to tell them? Well, I had a telepathic attack, a psychic attack by a reptilian Draco. I call it a bite because I can't come right out to my commanding officer and tell him, no. Some Draco telepathically got in my mind and screwed me up. So I gotta make up a story about what happened. And I think Colonel Serene just said I got bit rather than having to deal with an army shrink. But it's true. Reptilians can do psychic attacks. They can get right into your head. And, you know, we're horrible when we do it. It's not like me. You know, I'm your... I think I called you pets before. So, you know, if I'm your pet daddy, your boss, if I'm going to come in there and show you who's boss, it's reptilian, you know. It's not human. It's not like uh, Colonel Sanders bringing you a bucket of chicken. Who was that character Anthony Hopkins played? He was all locked up and he had to have like a face mask because he was biting people. He was talking to Jodie Foster and he said basically, you know, I was eating my victim with a nice bottle of Chianti. <laughs> that character? Yeah. That's what reptilian Dracos are like. You know, if they come into your head and that's what it feels like. Anthony Hopkins being horrible, horrible. So if Colonel Serene got bit... Mm, maybe both happened, but, you know, I don't know. He's, he, I don't blame him. No one's going to believe that anybody can telepathically attack you. You know, you tell a shrink that, they're going to give you Percocets and Seroquel. I can't help but laughing, you know, because humans don't believe in telepathy and telekinesis. They don't believe in anything psychic at all. They think all the, you know, like fortune tellers are just bullshitting. You know, so no one believes this stuff. How could it happen? No one believes it. You ask Colonel Serene after he's in his cups, after he's had a few bottles of whiskey. Maybe he'll spill the beans. <laughs> oh, well, my hat, it's uh, Barbados. Uh, 
I picked the wrong hat. I was expecting to get the one from Bahamas. It was a story about the abdicated king, King Edward, who came before King George, who came before Queen Elizabeth. He abdicated because he wanted to get married, and the government said, you can't marry who you want. No one say he was a Nazi. I think he was. Anyway, it's the wrong hat, and it was the wrong story. I was going to talk about him, but maybe I'll do another yip. I'm just getting too hot. i got to take a break. Sip it up. See you later. I'm Pindar.